Hello, I'm Ken with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and this is the Starseeker 4 uh, 150mm Mac Cast Telescope. Um, it's a 6 inch Mac on top of a go to mount, that's the Starseeker mount. And before I get into the individual features of it, let me just tell you the most important thing about this thing is the go to computer system itself. If you can see down in front here, this is the hand controller. It's got 40 some thousand objects in the database. So you just punch in what you want to see, and the scope will go right to it, it'll find it. It'll center it, and then it'll continue to track it as it moves through the sky. And one of my favorite features about this that sets it apart from a lot of the competition is that uh, with a normal go-to, if you were to unlock the axis and move it by hand, the computer, the hand controller, won't know you're doing that, so it's just lost its position, and you've got to uh, realign the system. Well, this has encoders built in, so you can adjust it manually like this, and the computer still knows where you're pointing. Uh, one major advantage of that is, let's say you want to now go to something way over here. Well, you can save battery power and just move the scope all the way around by hand and just have the computer do the last little bit of the alignment. Um, that also helps if you've got um, uh, a long way to go and you just want to quickly do it and uh, save some time. The, the go-to moves pretty quick, but you can easily just move it over, lock it back down, and then go to and you're done. So let's look at some of the individual features of the scope and get a little bit more in depth. Uh, first of all, the telescope itself, it's like I said, a 6 inch, that's 150 millimeters, matte cast. You can see the, uh, the lens up front, the corrector lens, with a nice small secondary mirror. That's what also sets this apart from, say, a, a Schmidt Cassegrain. The secondary mirror is much smaller um, area-wise or diameter-wise, so that gives you very high contrast. Um, this is an, a, uh, an 1800mm focal length, that's f12. Excellent for planetary detail. I mean, um, the, the contrast on the planets is, is, is top notch. So uh, very good detail on uh, the cloud belts on Jupiter, rings of Saturn. Um, Macs usually are very high power scopes and it's difficult to get the low power and the wide field for nebula. But this one actually is kind of an exception. It's got a nice big two inch focuser down in front. So you take off the inch and a quarter adapter and you've got a two inch uh, opening here. So you can put a two inch diagonal in and a 30 something millimeter low power eyepiece. And now you can start sweeping up those big deep sky objects. Uh, because after all, you've got six inches of aperture. So you might as well use it for those faint things. So works very well on, on the, the nebula, the Messier objects as well. Uh, it comes with uh, two eyepieces and a star diagonal. You get a 20, uh, what is this? So this is a 23 millimeter and also a high power planetary um, uh, 10 millimeter, and they're both uh, wide field designs. They're 62 degree field of view eyepieces. Finder scope on the side, and then the mount, like I said, comes with it, the go-to mount. And let's take a look, closer look at some of the things on the mount as well. So the computerized mount is powered by uh, 12 volt, and you can do it internally. If I open this up here, there's a battery pack, so you just plug in um, uh, eight AA batteries, 12 volts. Uh, or if you're in the backyard and you're close to an AC outlet, maybe with an extension cord, you can get an optional AC adapter and that will plug in uh, right here, allowing you to save battery power. Because in, in the long run, I mean, replacing AA batteries will probably get more expensive than just uh, plugging it into the wall. But of course, if you're out in the, uh, away from civilization somewhere when you're camping, you can't use AC power. So the internal batteries or any 12 volt power source, uh, we have something like our Dynamo, 17 amp hour battery. Um, you can even set this up next to your car and string a, a, a cigarette lighter plug through the window and power it from your car. On the side is the power and the hand controller port and the tripod itself, adjustable height, and you can also uh, store your uh, accessories in the tray down on the bottom. All right, well that pretty much sums it up. This is again the Orion Starseeker 4 that refers to the mount, the, the, the fourth uh, iteration of our mount. Uh, 150 millimeter Mat Cass telescope. Thank you very much. Clear skies. Video Shopping Network, an Amazon affiliate. To see this product on Amazon, click the link in the video description below. You'll be able to see current pricing, product reviews, and any special deals. Desktop users should see the Amazon Quick Link below the video. Mobile users will need to click the little down arrow below the video first.